Before we get festive, these are my Valentine's Day col colored books. Fourth time reading it. <laughs> this is the read along that doesn't end. Even though I'm not always the biggest fan of actually Agatha Christie. February is upon us, hence the one pink sweatshirt that I own. <laughs> Am I reading a bunch of romance this month? Absolutely not. But uh, I think I have a pink book in here. Do I? Well, pinkish. We're, we're being festive. Yeah, February TBR. Uh, do I need to intro that? No, I don't. Let's do it. First up, I have Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. This is the book that my patrons have chosen for me to vlog and review for them, so I will be doing so. I am relieved that the, sh the book they've chosen is pretty short this month. I'm also, I've heard pretty good things about this. And not just good things, but things that like, I think sound good. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, they've picked books for me before that people like, but not necessarily books that I think I am people. <laughs> but here, I think, I think there's a good shot that this is gonna be something I like. And at the very least, it's not very long. So, yay for that. Um, also, I think the sequel is just come out or is about to come out or whatever. I think, I'm pretty sure it's coming out in 2022 if it has not come out already. So if I like this, this is good timing for this. And if I don't like this, it doesn't matter about the timing. <laughs> Next up I have Before They're Hanged by Joe Abercrombie. This will be my fourth time reading it. <laughs> As you should already know, I am once again reading all of the first law books this year, but this time it's because Bethany and I are discussing them in our year-long read-along on the Chapter 3 podcast. The sci-fi fantasy episode of the podcast every month, almost every month this year, is a first law episode. So if you'd like to join us, uh, there's still time to get in on this. We're barely on the second book. If you don't already know this, um, I don't know why you're watching my channel, but first law is pretty much what I live and breathe. So reading it again, loving reading it again, loving watching Bethany read it again. So yeah, we're having a great time rereading and I can't wait to read some more Ever from me. Next up, I have Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami. This is going to be my very first Murakami. And I am reading this with uh, Hilary from Bookborn. She and I read Gaiman American Gods in January and did a live chat discussing it on my channel. And we're going to be discussing Murakami on her channel. So this is kind of like us trying on each other's favorite authors. That's the loose conceit of this little project of ours. I had read American Gods before, she hadn't, um, but neither of us has ever read Norwegian Wood. She's read Murakami before, obviously, since this is like her side of favorite author, but she has not read Norwegian Wood. Um, this will be a first for both of us. So I'm really looking forward to chatting about this with Hillary, and I'm looking forward to finally reading Murakami. <laughs> Next up I have 16 Ways to Defend a Walled City by K.J. Parker. I have read the very beginning of this book and like soft DNF'd it. Not at all because I didn't like it. I actually really really enjoyed it but like I wasn't in the mood specifically in that moment and then like other TBRs and obligations like came in and this just like got abandoned. <laughs> so I very much have wanted to come back to it and my patrons and I will be buddy reading it in February. And also this is a nice short book. So my patrons are keeping it light for February. I appreciate that. The only KJ Parker book I've read besides like the beginning of this book, I did read his novella, The Pro um, Prosperous Demon. And I really, really enjoyed Prosperous Demon. And everything that I hear about his other books, he just, and what from what I have myself read of that novella at the beginning of this book, I feel like this is an author that I will very much get along with. So I'm really excited to read this book finally. And I think the third book in this series has just come out or is about to come out or whatever. So like, again, timing, pretty good. For finally reading this if I end up liking it. Next up is another reread and that is Stone of Tears by Terry Goodkind because Bethany and I are doing a year-long read-along of the sort of truth books this year as well on our channels not the podcast. We talked about Wizards First Rule on Bethany's channel in January so if you missed the live show um, the replay is available to you and then we're gonna be chatting about Stone of Tears in February on my channel. I'm very much looking forward to it because I did reread this last year and now having reread Wizards First Rule I think Stone of Tears is quite a bit better than Wizard's First Rule. I really, really like Stone of Tears. So I'm excited to reread this. It'll be a good time and come join us. Next up, I have Winter of the Witch by Catherine Arden. This is the third and final book in the Winter Night trilogy because uh, I am participating in Evie's uh, read-along of the Winter Night trilogy. So third and final book is up in February. So I will be reading it because, because why not? Because this is so, 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 so good. Yeah. I don't, what else is there to say? If you haven't read the Winter Night trilogy, 
What are you doing with your life is my question. Next up I have another reread and that is A Dance with Dragons by George R. R. Martin. This is the fifth and for now final book in The Song of Ice and Fire as I along with Jimmy from the Fantasy Network and Alex from Alex Nieves are hosting a read along of The Song of Ice, of the Song of, of, the Song of Ice and Fire. And so we will be chatting about uh, Dance with Dragons on, we're back at Alex's channel, I believe. Yes, we're at Alex's channel. Uh, and we're not stopping here. We will be going on. I don't know exactly what order, but we will be continuing on from here with Duncan Egg, Fire and Blood, and World of Ice and Fire, and whatever else we can dredge up to make this Song of Ice and Fire read along never end. This is the read along that doesn't end. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm excited. I have been loving revisiting A Song of Ice and Fire and it's so fun talking to Jimmy and Alex about it. So um, yeah, excited for this. And then as I mentioned at the beginning of the year, uh, my intention is to keep up with my Book of the Month Club books by always reading in the subsequent month that whatever books I get from Book of the Month, not just my Book of the Month. So. My book of the month that I picked in January was, this is the pink book, <laughs> The Magnolia Palace by Viona Davis. This is, I believe, like historical fiction slash mystery is why I picked it up. It's Gilded Age, New York. And I think there's a museum and like a puzzle and things. <laughs> Tangled web of romantic trysts, stolen jewels and family drama that runs so deep the stakes just may be life or death. So that's a Valentine's Day kind of read, right? It's had the word romantic in it. There's pink flowers on it. So yeah, here's my, my February romance Valentine's book. And then the other book of the month club book that I got as an add-on was The Maid by Nita Prose. I actually heard Mara praise this and she's the mystery queen. So that has me sold. And it says that it's a clue-like locked room mystery and a heartwarming journey of the spirit. And just the aesthetic of this cover really reminds me of like Agatha Christie adaptations. Like this just like has the vibe of like the Poirots and Marbles. And I love those kinds of mysteries, even though I'm not always the biggest fan of actually Agatha Christie. And it's not terribly long. And I mean, I've, I keep saying this, I love watching murder mysteries, particularly um, period piece murder mysteries, but really any, I mean, I love crime TV, <laughs> mystery of the week type stuff. Uh, I, just, I very rarely read it. So since book of the month, like makes me kind of choose things beyond my normal grimdark fantasy, uh, I was like, oh, a mystery. I should, I should read that. So nice, short, and it's red. So again, these are my Valentine's Day col colored books, pink and red, right? I'm so festive. <laughs> Editing Leanna here. I have said so many times that I'm gonna be reading Ship of Destiny in February with Mara and I somehow forgot it. The whole time I was filming, I was like, I'm forgetting something, I'm forgetting something, and I was correct. So yeah, Ship of Destiny, also reading that in February with Mara from Books Like Well. We are finally finishing the Live Ship Trader series and then moving on to the rest of the Realm of the Elderlings. So this too. And those are all the books that I will be reading in February. Well, those are books that I will definitely be reading in February. I will probably read some other books as well, since that's what I'm doing this year. My TBRs are just books that I'm for sure getting to, and then that should leave room open to either not read anything else or to read whatever else, or just, you know, whatever. Whatever happens, whatever happens. We'll find out in the wrap up. So let me know in the comments down below uh, what you'll be reading in February, if you're gonna be reading any of these books, if you're gonna join us in a any of the various read along, buddy read type things. Uh, First Law, Sword of Truth, Murakami, uh, Winter Night, uh, there's this, uh, uh, A Song of Ice and Fire, pretty much everything on my TBR is some kind of buddy read read along type thing. So I hope your TBR is very similar to mine, which means you are participating in all of these things. But if not, it's fine too. Whatever you want to let me know. I post videos on Saturdays, other random times will be definitely Saturdays, so like and subscribe. Join my Patreon if you feel so inclined. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye.